Today we're going up to San Diego, California. It's a two hour drive. We're driving up to San Diego to go wrap TJ Hunt's Ferrari. I keep wanting to say Lambo for some reason. Ferrari. We're gonna go wrap that thing. And the thing about it is it's gonna be one of those projects where we're in a really, really small window. Like one day we have this week to actually get it done. So we're gonna need as much as we can today done. And then we'll probably finish up the bulk of it next week. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, we give away a free car wrap every 100,000 subscribers. So we're on our way to 300K and we're gonna be giving away another car wrap. But uh, let's get over to San Diego. Actually, we got one meeting beforehand because I was informed that our whole staff is full of criminals and we do have our own <laughs> private attorney. Uh, not a private attorney, he's actually available to all you guys. We're gonna go meet with him real quick. He un run runs a law firm called, I think it's called, F Your Ticket. So basically, F Your Ticket's gonna help me because your boy got in some trouble legally. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I got in some trouble, basically, uh, a couple years ago. I got a ticket that I guess I forgot to pay and he's gonna help me out, hopefully, and tell me what the process is because right now, I probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> Fuck, I'm just incriminating myself this whole vlog. Let's get over there. Uh, as Daniel mentioned, we're a shop full of criminals that apparently get a lot of tickets because we all drive modified vehicles. But <laughs> Welcome to California. <laughs> Welcome to California, man, with the new laws and shit. But anyways, I have four active tickets right now that uh, that need to be handled. Um, every ticket's going to be handling two of them. One was a speeding and exhaust ticket. And actually, they're all exhaust tickets because, you know, like your boy's exhaust is loud. But anyways, uh, he's going to be handling two of my cases and, uh, you know, I'm really just hoping for the best because I cannot afford to pay those tickets off right now, so. He can barely afford to put gas in his V4. Yeah, I can barely afford to put gas. <laughs> in his V4. I just bought a big wedding, man. All right, guys, so we're here at, uh, where are we? Juice it up? <laughs> we're here at Juice it up. Come on, go get a juice. And uh, we're checking out um, every ticket's car right now. He just showed up. He's talking to Daniel right now. He does not want to be on camera, but you know what? That's okay. We'll record a conversation. Check if my ID is expired or my license is expired, which is a really good thing because I may be driving around right now and be completely not legal, so. Right, because that's the point I'm checking on this. Yeah, so he's asked me on the DMV site, just checking my record just to see if I'm there, if I'm still valid anyway, so. He might be driving to San Diego. What I would say, so as of right now, you look at this, you have nothing that, that have no failure to appear. So basically, I mean, you have an license about it. All we have to do, we'll just clear this up so you have no future issues. But uh, your license is good to go. Yeah. So I found out I'm good, my license is valid, the ticket that I have or that they claim I have doesn't seem as big of an issue as it is. Really? I'll tell you guys about it. A couple years ago I got a license plate, uh, pulled over for not having a front license plate. And apparently the ticket must have came, I never paid it, this was years ago. And then yesterday a ticket showed up for about $800, not about, it is $800 plus dollars. So I reached out to Randy at F Your Ticket and he basically gave me all the insights on it and what it is. And to me it sounds like a money grab for them. And he tells me it's an easy thing that he's gonna get knocked out. So I'm happy about that. Let's get over to San Diego. I'm ready for this. We're I'm excited, uh, dude. We're almost, dude. We're like just uh, taking all the apart, like little Ferrari mechanics that we are. <laughs> Sup, sir? How's it going, brother? Brother, how you doing? What's up, man? Whoa, you have a yellow shirt. How was the mirror? Did you take the mirror off? Dude, the mirror, it's easy as f Okay? Yeah. So I scared him. I was like, bro, it's gonna be super fing hard. No, so we thought so too. Like, literally, it's like, I'll literally show you. Like, everything on this part has been a but literally, here's the handles. You just pull it open, pull this thing back, and take the screw out. So it's like yeah. one of those ones where it's really simple. Like if you need one of these, and you know now, you can go steal one. Yeah, out. no, you're, yeah. Now you know how to steal one. <laughs> yeah, the biggest thing is just taking apart the door panel. This one was already off because okay. it's at the. This one is the side that blew up, so it's at Ferrari. So this one's already taken off. So we were just like looking at like what was already here, and that one's already about to come off. So that mirror will already be off. And then the when only thing left. The mirror, is there like these caps you pull out? No, you actually take the speaker out. Okay. And then you just reach up and it's Got just three tens, and literally it comes straight out. So once we get that mirror out, which is probably like ten minutes, everything is off that you asked for, but the rear bumper, and then we'll do oh. that. My man. Nothing much. I'm just a Ferrari tech now. Oh, nice. Got the red shirt to match the red Ferrari logo. Or you know how it is. You know, bro. You know how it is. Like this. I like, you. I like your style, bro. I like what you're doing with your life, yo. I'm 
just blowing it. I want to get this thing knocked out. Believe it or not, the hardest part about the whole car is going to be these mirrors. So if you look at all of the bends on the mirror, uh, the way this is the way that's set up in general, the vinyl has to go all the way in over here. So then we have to remove the glass. These take time. And when, believe it or not, this could be like an eight hour wrap job on just the mirrors alone. So today, my goal is to get all the easy stuff done, which is everything, you know, hood, fender, roof, quarter panels, even the bumpers. So we want to try to get as much as we can done. We'll probably be here till one, two in the morning, till our eyes are bleeding. We'll go to sleep and we'll come back and knock it out. How's it check out? I mean, you see that one little nick like you mentioned? But then everything else looks pretty good. Go, go. So what we're doing is we're going over the hood and we notice there's like little imperfections like this right here. I actually covered up that with vinyl and it doesn't show, but TJ was over here sanding this one down just because a little bit of imperfection there, you're obviously not gonna see it on camera, but you good with it? Yeah, did you, it. did you explain to them like where we're at with it too? Like I, they kind of have an idea. I, I let everybody know that obviously this car is gonna be painted at some point. You guys already know that. What kit did you get? The Liberty Walk V2 kit. Liberty Walk V2 kit. So at some point, this car is going to be repainted. It, between now and then, the car is going to be wrapped red, and that's where we get to come in, thankfully. So TJ brought us on board to wrap it red. It's not going to be 100% because it still needs a little bit of body work, but that'll happen when it goes to paint. At this point, I think it's going to look pretty damn good. I think TJ's going to be psyched. He might just leave it. He might say, F the Liberty Walk kit, too. I'm not, I'm not. Did not. I called it a day, I was like, I'm good. I made it through, nobody knows. And I went and hopped in the shower, cleaned myself up, got ready for the day. My girl woke up, she goes to the bathroom, she goes, what the fuck is this? And I was like, fuck, I knew I must have forgot something. The whole back of the fucking oil was still sprayed out, dude. <laughs> it was still sprayed out. Fucking lot. I wish I was, dude, I wish I was. She goes, Take a shower. And I was like, I just did. She goes, take another shower. You need to take another shower. It was all over the place, bro. I woke, that's how I woke up. And then I couldn't find my wallet. So it was just a fed up morning. God, you did. I, it's too, too real. It sounds too real to me. You could, you could, we could FaceTime my girl right now and we could have the conversation because this happened, dude. I wish I was this morning. I wish I could tell you that it didn't. Hey, yeah, babe. Hi. Did you clean up the bathroom? Yeah. And I disinfected every single handle and the shower. Every oh. Yeah. You're Sorry. <laughs> you think it's so? Funny? I don't think it's funny. It just fucking happened. Oh. Yeah, it's gross, dude. <laughs> and knowing you, you probably didn't even wash your hands, open the shower door, and then you went in the shower and grabbed everything with sh your hands, you're so disgusting. Yo, it's too real. <laughs> <laughs> it's too real. They shit the wall. Hey, hey, big guy, how'd it go in there? I missed. 
<laughs> what does that mean? Missed. Yeah. But let's have a let's make a connection. Right. Like I, I got something more for you. Like let's have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that oh, was he taken messed up it. some dude's name four times in front of his face. Me? Yeah. See, I do regret that. I like I don't know. So okay, so I seen this dude walking by and he came to our shop before and I thought I remembered his name. I was like, it's Ben. You know, that's what I thought. So I wanted to be cool and say, I remember you, what's up, Ben? How are you? And he goes, huh? And he tells me his name. Like he goes, No, it's Roger. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool, what's up? And I was like, see you later, Jeff. Like a whole nother name. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what up, Russell? Hey, Joseph, yeah. I thought it was Russell. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have yeah. been like, I'll be Russell today. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't like, mind. <laughs> 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 Justin. What is it? Joseph. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to be rude to him. I thought genuinely that I remembered my customer's name and I was gonna go out of my way and say, what's up, Calvin? You know, Jeff, how are you? And then he's just like, hey man, no, by the way, it's Roger. And I'm like, all right, Jeff, we'll see you later. <laughs> it's just not Oh cool. yeah, Bob, whatever you say, dude. <laughs> You're six hours in, and we got door quarter panel. I don't know if it's six hours. How long has it been? Uh, Started at three. What time is it now? Yeah, ma. It is 8:13. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're five hours in. It's taking a little longer because we're still prepping some of the panels Talking as we about go. Talking about memes. That's why it's taking longer, baby. It's taking a little longer because of that. But we're gonna finish up the quarter panel and that back piece over there. And we're gonna probably call it a day. <laughs> I said we're gonna finish the whole car today, but the goal was to set the goal high and see where we fall. And I don't think we fell short, but we got a lot done. We didn't get the whole thing done. But Johnny kicked ass. I wish I could reach you, bro, but I'm so tired. <laughs> Anthony kicked ass. Yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, this is what we do. We wrap cars all day and we try to spice in a little bit of other things here and there. So if you guys are new to the channel, let us know, comment below, say hi. We give a car wrap away. If you guys don't know that, every 100,000 subscribers give away a free car wrap. So we'd love for it to be one of you guys. Um, all you gotta do is be a subscriber. Go to the link in the description below, sign up for the giveaway, and you're entered. Every 100,000 subscribers are giving away a car wrap. We're done for the night. We're all beat. It was really cool, as always, hanging out with TJ, wrapping his cars. It's always been a good experience. We've been wrapping TJ's cars for about three years now, and it's always a pleasure. So we'll always do it, we'll continue to do it, and Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. There will be a part two of the Ferrari wrap. So if you're enjoying the Ferrari wrap content, make sure you subscribe, subscribe because we've got a ton of it coming. <laughs>